appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Tell these niggas. What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we back up in this thing, and I just got to watching this face off. Yeah, I know niggas is like, B, why you didn't go live with the team? Why you didn't go live with the team? Why you didn't do this? Uh, it's because my ass went to sleep. Niggas got to rest. But with that being said, salute to, uh, salute to squad, salute to squad. But with that being said as well, um, Cassie versus Hitman. I just seen. I just seen this. Uh, this face off, man, and this face off was. It was pretty interesting to me. It was interesting to me in regards to, um, you know, uh, I, prior to it, right? You know, it was some leak. It was some leak footage. You seen Hitman going off talking about, man. He tried me. I got my little black bag. I got my little black bag on me. And that's cool. That's cool. Have your little black bag. Got to do what you got to do. You're a grown man. Got to protect yourself by any means necessary. I don't know why in that RBE, nothing really crazy happens over there as far as niggas shooting each other up and all that. Nah, shit don't happen like that. Cassidy, high profile. Nah, you, I'm sure you don't need a gun. I'm sure you don't need a gun hit, man. Or need a bag. My bad. Not a gun. A bag. You don't need a black bag for, for Cassidy, I'm sure. Um, but with that being said, though, um, it was interesting, man. It was interesting. Um, uh, looking at both, looking at it from both perspectives, I can understand why why Hitman felt like he he felt kind of felt like he was being threatened because you know we don't know like he the the, the young fella's probably been through a lot in his lifetime. You feel me? A lot in his lifetime through misunderstandings, etc. Because we, we know his history. We know his history. But transitioning to Cassidy. Cassidy was like a G sitting down talking and ARP. Cause I know you watch my shit too. Salute to you and RB, but Cassidy was the very person. He, he stood up before Hitman did. Yeah, he did. He did stand up before Hitman. But with that being said, Hitman, you were, I think you got a little too emotional, man. You got too emotional. You let Cassidy low key kind of, he, he kind of outclassed you. He kind of outclassed you in that. And that's the way that it looks to me. Um, Cassie sitting there talking, going back and forth with him. And when somebody like that is going, when, when you going against somebody like Cassidy, uh, one of the masters at, at, at shit talking for real, and he, he, he don't even got to move around. He can just talk his shit and people going to feel what he's saying just because he's one of the best niggas to do face-offs ever in the, the history of battle rap for real low key, the best promoters of battle, uh, of battles in battle rap history. Let that nigga promote the battle and talk your shit. You hit man holler. You a legend. You a legend. Let your work spit for itself. He talking about this and talking about that. Your response just as recommended. Just I mean, I'm recommending this. It should have been. I right, talk your shit. I'm gonna kick your ass when we get there. Meet me on the other side. April third. You gonna see me. You talking all that shit? I'm gonna make it to where this is what it is, and keep it there. But now you got upset. You wanted to fight. You look like you wanted to fight this man. You look like you really wanted to fight this man. He is looking. He talking this shit or whatnot because we know Cassie is a little guy, so he talking that shit like yada yada yada. Your ass got up like you was ready to slap a nigga. No, this is battle rap. This is battle rap. Hitman, holla. We know you knock niggas out. We know you do all of this stuff. We know your brother going to come out of nowhere and he going to have to hold you up. We know all of this shit. So you don't got to, you don't got to go that crazy. Not on Cassidy. This is Cassidy. Sit there, be professional, talk your shit and let them know. I'm going to kick your ass when this, when this battle start. That's all. That's it. Talk what you want to talk. But I understand that y'all are trying to sell this fight because a lot of people are like, yeah, this battle's going to be a, but now y'all didn't sold it. Y'all didn't sold this motherfucker. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see this battle. I can't wait to see this battle, y'all. I think it's going to be a dope battle. I think it's going to be very, very dope. But back to the face-off, though. Gassy played his cards right. And Cassidy knows how to motherfucking pick at you. He knows how to make a nigga mad. He knows how to make a nigga mad. But I just don't understand why people be feeling so offended. Niggas be playing mad defense. I mean, uh, being mad offense, they feel like he like offensive. 
super offensive. Fuck all of that. Play defense and just sit back and chill. Talk your shit from a distance. Let that nigga say what he gonna say because you know what he trying to do. He trying to make you look crazy. He trying to make you look crazy. But this is gonna be a dope matchup. But all in all, I think it was a dope. It was a very entertaining face off. Uh, I think it was. I, I think it was. Uh, it was very very hyped because both of them got up. And then I like I like the way Hitman. Um, I like the way I like the way it was shot and filmed. Um, Hitman got up and he started walking around talking crazy. Hitman, sit your ass down. Go get your bars together. This is Cassidy. When did, when has Cassidy been known to like knock niggas out and do this, do shit to niggas? Stop it. Come on. You know better than that, sir. You hit man holla. But with that being said, I'm about to get up off of here. It is super duper early in the morning. I'm about to start my day. Shouts out to the Northwest battle rap scene. Uh, we have an event that I'm actually going to be a part of later on today. And I got a lot of interviews and shit, so I gotta motive. I gotta. I gotta get ready for all of that. Shout out to all my Bigo folk. Um, if you are interested in making some bread, holler at me on Bigo. Connect you with the agency. Uh, my 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 tag on there is the letter B, the letter A, the number four, uh, R E A L, the number one. So B A for real one on Bigo. If you're trying to make some bread, holler at me, and uh, let's put some money in your pocket and see where it go. But anyways. Uh, this your boy BA for real 100. This is get your bars up media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbled upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Tell me what y'all think in that comment section about this, uh, this face off. This face off was super wild to me. It was wild. But I think it was just over, I think it was over exaggerated and blown out of proportion a tad bit though. It was entertaining, very entertaining. But anyways, get your bars up, salute the squad. And if you don't got your bars up, you definitely gotta hold this L. Salute.